good morning guys welcome back to today's video i gotta go get a coat holy heck hold on so uh, this is how messy the back of my car is so i actually had brushes grooming brushes in here anyway welcome back to today's video it is was so warm when we came out this morning at 7 30 to take care of the goats it was gorgeous out and now it's cold again i have this weird theory that there's this storm going through not our area but a little bit further away from us i have this weird theory that once this storm passes the other area it's gonna get warm here too oh hey honey <laughs> she must have came in to eat penny's hay well also dad gives some hay in here even though there's all that yeah i know that's kind though like we would rather our horses have the food that they need where they want it to feel comfortable to eat it than worry oh, about wasting it. Looks. It looks so much better short. I hate it I short. It. Looks chopped off. It is. <laughs> anyway, today, Sylvia and I are starting off the spring season. That? I'm gonna bring that in and clean it by washing all of our things. Uh -oh. All of our brushes and everything and get it ready for spring season. Um, I really want to wash all of our halters. Look at how they're set up though. There, whose is that? Storm's? Yours? And then there's one here. And then there's Penny's over here, her pink one. Right there. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of stuff, sister. Yeah, well, we yeah. can't wash them in the same thing because mine. In the same sink? Yeah, I'll, we'll do them separately. Steal mine. I also want to do Gabby's. I wouldn't touch her. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't like her stuff touched. She's very particular, but I am going to clean it. Just not right now. I'm going to... We're only going to do two at a time. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to leave these right here and take them back to the house when we come back from the goats. But we're just going to go and check and make sure everybody's okay. Sam has to get another hay bale for another round bale. But it was raining this morning, so he didn't go. He's gonna go tomorrow instead. He was supposed to get hay today. Yeah. Like, but he already got hay. Yeah, he got hay yesterday, but he needed a round bale today. Hey. That's Blossom. Who's our noisiest goat? Blossom. Blossom. Let's see who, where everybody is. I like to just look and see what's happening. It is freezing. She's like, take me in. So we have a little trailer, like a not a dump trailer, but a trailer that's small like that. And Sam's gonna drive it into this barn and we're gonna clean the goat's stalls. But we have to wait because there's we because the hay that's in there right now is what keeps them warm at night. So in the next week or so, hopefully, once the weather kind of changes, we're gonna do a huge cleanup. And all of us, even Sam and Gabby are gonna help. And we're gonna bring that trailer right into the barn. I'll show you. We're gonna wheel it right into here. Push it right back there and then we're gonna just start dumping using our pitchforks and dumping everything out of this barn. It's the very first time ever that we've done this method. Look, she's frozen. Let's put a sweater on her again. I know, Sophie's in love with this goat. His face is so cute. Yeah, he- oh, look at his little face. He has such a cute little face. I hope you're a nice boy because he we're is. keeping you. I don't think we're gonna bring them in because they can come into this area and kind of get warm. Oh my gosh, they ate so much hay. Sophie, we gotta throw more hay. Face did. Oh, his face is so cute. I took off her sweater this morning. I've had a sweater on her. <laughs> That's my little cricket, my little girl, and there's little Lola over there. They have such different faces. This is Lola's, the only one that doesn't chew. Just wait, Lola's face is so wide, and then Cricket's face is so narrow. This is the only one out of the triplets that does, does not chew on us. Yeah, he doesn't chew on us. He's cutie though. Yeah, he is so freaking cute. This one's my favorite out of the triplets. This is her favorite triplet. We love the triplets. I have a feeling that we're going to love um, Rosie's babies just as much as we love Blossom's babies. They're just the cutest babies. Tillies. Tillies. As much as, we, yeah, all of them had really nice babies, actually. I think that one's the best one, though. Yeah, Sophie loves him the best. Don't eat the plastic. It's dangerous. That one's really cute, though. Pick him up. I feel bad for him. It's funny how like, gotcha. <laughs> it's funny how much, yeah, he's, he's sweet though. Yeah, he's cute. You're cute. He They're so hard many, to see. Dark colored goats are harder to see. so many spots. Look at the fat on him. Look at the chub. Hi. He's like, no. Anyway, it's so crazy to see 
how nutrition plays such a big part in how you grow. So like, he's sweet if you can catch him. He's sweet if you can catch him. Blossom had one baby and he grew so fast and so big because he got all the nutrition. And then the triplets are only a day away from the brown moms, this one's babies. Not a fan of being held. And she just had twins. The brown mom had twins. And they are like at least an inch and a half bigger than the triplets. Aww, and everybody's cute. growing totally appropriately. Look at all his spots, they're like keep popping up. Let's see, they're all growing appropriately, but it's just shocking how much nutrition really matters when you're growing. <laughs> Look at him. You're really cute. I wanted to see the brown one. <laughs> okay, well let's catch my girl, because she's not easy to catch. I took her sweater off today because I was worried she was going to be warm. It's supposed to be warm, but because of this wind that I believe is coming from a, a storm, she's freezing. Remember, she came from a heated barn. So that... Winston lost his bell? Yeah. Hi, Harvey. So this is Harley, and he is the better looking twin and only better looking because he has Winston's confirmation so he's like better put together and he's got those super cute frosted ears and he has only one big moon spot right one big moon spot uh, I think so yeah just one so listen that is my coat so look at his belly like you can really see their bellies he gets mad when I touch his legs Anyway, he is so, so super cute. And then let's see the other one. So I can show them the moon spots. I probably would have been my choice if Winston wasn't alive. If Winston wasn't al alive, this is who you would choose to keep? No! We'd be keeping, we'd be keeping that guy! No, we don't want... He, he, no. Oh, he is so cute. Winston, I love you. Oh, he's so my nice. first choice. And then this little guy here is my second choice, even though a lot of people don't like black goats. Winston. He also is put together really cute like Winston. All right, show me, show me the other brown one. I want to show you guys what moon spots are. Oh, there it goes. All right, let's see if I can show you. Nope. Come here, Hershey. Hershey Hershey's super. <laughs> He's like, hey, oh, come on, look at your baby. All right, so this is the other chocolate one, and he has moon spots, just like his dad, other side. Yeah, so do you guys see them? Yep, you can see them. Just so many. So these, all these spots are called moon spots and he has a ton of them. He has like a big one right He's got right a big one like his brother, but he's got other ones and they come out even more over time. <laughs> what kind of face is that? It's so sassy. <laughs> it's so cute. So who's eating my pants? I don't know. I'm just being eaten alive. Me too. By Winston. He's like as heavy as Winston. He's Actually, adorable. Alright, help me find my girl. We'll put her sweater on and then we'll go and clean all of our stuff. I actually want to collect I'm being, all of our I'm food bowls nice. and clean them as well. Hi, Rosie. You guys see that? She just comes right up to me now. I felt nibbling at my hand. <laughs> Could be because she knows I have treats. I have pig treats in my pocket. They're just um, Cheerios. So she comes up now and she's still... Oh. Well, her babies are going to be really sweet. I think this one's babies are going to be really beautiful. And at first I was so upset that we our babies are all separated in times. Yeah, look at this little Winston's face. Winston's face is the cutest though. Yeah. They have really cute faces. Alright, get me my little girl. I feel bad for her. She's frozen. She's over here. Chewing her cud with Lola. These are the outcasts. Like she's going to like run. Don't run! <laughs> Don't run, little cricket! <laughs> you know what? You can run. Wait. I'll let you run. There we go. So, I've been having a sweater on her at night and then taking it off when it's warm outside. Oh, what is your problem? She's with Lola. I know, but she's having like a little spasm in her back end. Sophie's like, look at my baby! Look at my He's baby! He's so cute! Sophie, when you're a mom, what it's like, my baby? Just look you're at not allowed to He's say, so look at my baby, look at my baby. He's so cute. Everybody so thinks cute. that about their baby. You have to be like, oh, your baby is so cute. And then... Just yeah, let it go. Baby's so cute. <laughs> he is so cute. Stop eating my coat. <laughs> go get hay. That's adorable. You go get the hay. Let's see how popular Sophie is right now. <laughs> so uh, there was hay in their feeder, but they like this new stuff that we got that Sam bought so much better. 
Be nice to my little baby. Somebody ripped her shirt. Okay, Sophie, how many, what page are you on in the new book you started yesterday? Forget. 365. 365. And it goes Even when she went to bed last night, she was like, hey, do you mind if I read a little past my bedtime? Because I'm so excited about my book, so. Oh, hi, sorry, come here. Dude. She did, but anyway, there's his moon spots. Does he have little spots or is that just dirt? I think it's dirt. That's hay. <laughs> so cute. Let me see. We saw two really cute bucks at the sales farm. Really? I saw them. They weren't that cute. Not as cute as our guys. They were like the crickets, mom, dad. Really short. Come on, Posey. Come on. Let's go outside. Ellie. Hi. <laughs> Sit. Here, come here. Sit. Sit. Sit, 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 Ellie. Ellie had her shave this morning and a bath. And sometimes after I do her shave, she can only take so much. I can see some stuff on her butt that I have to fix a lot of stuff on her butt. And a little thing, a few things underneath her belly. Sit, hey, sit. Come on, you know how to sit. But that's her face. One side's a little bit longer. Um, you can see one side of her face is a little bit longer. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh. That's my favorite part of ha having Yorkies. I love grooming her and I love brushing her and I even don't mind bathing her. And I love putting her hair in a ponytail. Uh oh. <laughs> she is so a lot though. She is such a lot of a dog. She is like a forever puppy. She is a lot. But she loves me and she takes good care of me. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. You're a good puppy. Yes, you are. And Miss Piggy, for anybody who's wondering, Miss Posy Pig, her best friend in the whole world is Anya. She loves Anya. Pigs, people say different things, but my experience with pigs and seeing pigs and knowing pigs is that they're very um, soft. Like they're very, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, um, they're very gentle. They're just very gentle creatures and Anya is a very gentle cat. So they spend so much time together and it's so funny to watch them get away from my necklace. It's so funny to watch them because Anya, because they like see each other from across the room and they do anything they can to come together. Like the cat plays with the pig constantly. The pig always wants to be with the cat. Like it's this unbelievable relationship for me. The only problem with that relationship, I'm glad she's making relationships with the, do with the animals, but <laughs> Anya's not gonna be in the barn. So it's gonna come to an end. Oh, I'm posy, posy, posy. Oh, she's asking me for a treat. Do you have a treat, she says. If I come to you, will I get a treat? And she will because I want her to learn to come to me. She still has that black spot on her belly, on her back. She needs to, oops, she needs to have a bath, but I'm waiting for her to get, come here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Come here, pussy. Come here. Come here. But I'm waiting for it to get warmer. Pussy, come here. Come here, I have treats. Come on. There you go. There you go. Good girl. Good baby. Good baby. But on our farm, there are some things I love to do and some things I hate to do. I hate chicken chores. They're the least, my least favorite. But I love bringing, come here Posey. But I love bringing Posey and Ellie outside. It's one of my favorite things ever. I just love sitting here and watching them. Don't run off. Uh oh. Good girl. Good girl. And she's getting really good at going in and going out. She's, whoops, better at going out than going in. If she wants to go in, she's really good at going in. But if she doesn't want to go in, she's not good at going in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're such a cute girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, watch. Come here, Posey, Posey, Posey. Come here, Posey. Come on. 
Good girl. Good girl. She, she comes better than, than Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, get over here. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let's go in. Let's go in. Sophie wants me to get her some more books. So we are at Walmart and we are buying some candy because it is that time of year and I don't want to buy like a lot of candy for my kids, but I also have my grandkids coming over. So I need to get some things to make a little Easter egg hunt for them. I bought another goat today. <laughs> you guys, I bought a goat today. Yep, it was me. I did it. I bought a goat and it is adorable. Like the cutest goat you've ever seen in your life. Um, but it's got the genetics that we need to really upgrade our game. So I bought that today and then I just need one more goat this year. That's all I'm going to buy is just one more goat. And I still need a horse. And that's going to start um, happening in the next couple of weeks. The whole horse thing. I wanted to wait until the cold weather and the winter got over. I don't want to buy a horse when like the weather's bad and we can't work with it and ride it. Like even we don't even like driving in in, in cold bad weather. Like I don't know. It's just who we are we are just fair weather riders so horses are a season for us they're like six months on every year and then six months off or five months off whatever so that's gonna happen my deadline for getting a horse is like in April so be watching for that I'm gonna start I wanted to wait till Easter got over as soon as Easter is over Sylvia and I are gonna be right into the horse buying right, leasing but leasing buying Whatever happens, happens. Um, so we're gonna get into that. So when you have a farm, and farming is, is your business, and you start to make it your business, like this is starting to be our business, then you start breeding animals, and you start selling chickens, and you start selling eggs, and you start like selling stuff on your farm, and you start making food on your farm, and all that kind of stuff. And I thought that this season would be starting so much later than it has. Like I already bought two goats and I already am signed up for the third one that I need. And then like, I don't know, and I already have two pigs and like, it just seems like this season is taking off like rocket starting. And it's been exciting. Like it's been already an exciting start, but the next month should be even more exciting than ever because we'll be getting a new horse, which is like the most exciting. I can't wait for the coming couple of weeks. It's just gonna be, insane i think we are set for the best summer of our lives anyway that's it see you guys tomorrow don't you know that